Today we're going to look at finding the equation of a line. And in this particular lesson, you're going to learn about information that you need to make a line, using the point-slope equation, my personal favorite, slope-intercept form, and standard or general form. So let's get right to it here. Making a linear equation. If I'm going to make a linear equation, I need some information first. And the piece of information I need is I need a slope, m, which is slope. The purpose of the slope is basically tells me what direction to go or how, what steepness to go. But I could have like a line here, here, here at this steepness, but in order to do it, I also need a point to start at. So in order to make a line, I need two things. I need a point and I need a slope. And if I have those two things, then I can make my line. And this can be any point. It doesn't have to be the y-intercept. People always think y-intercept, but it could be any point at all. Any point. All right, let's do an example here. We're going to do the point-slope equation. In order to find the equations of a line, we're going to, I'm going to introduce you to an equation that looks like this. y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. Okay? And in this particular equation, I know that m is the slope, because I know I need a slope. And then this y1 and this x1, well, I also knew I need a point. I needed a point, right? Any point. This is my any point. And then finally, everyone always often asks me, what is this x and y? Well. When you have a linear equation, you often get things that look like y equals 5x plus 1. And it has an x and it has a y. Well, that ends up, that's that y, and that is this x. And so I'll end up with, with an equation. So let's give this a try here. We're going to use the point-slope equation. Given a line that has a gradient of negative 4 fifths, and it goes to the point 2, 3. Find the equation of the line in slope-intercept form. Well, let me clarify what that means. Slope-intercept form is our good old favorite y equals mx plus b. Or, if you're in different countries, it's y equals mx plus c. So, going back to making an equation, I know I need two things. I need a slope, which I'm told is negative 4 fifths. And I need a point, x1, y1. Well, my x1 and y1, I'm told, is 2, 3. I'm going to take this information and plug it into this point-slope equation. And I'll, the point-slope equation says y minus y1 equals m x minus x sub 1. Okay, I'm going to take these values and plug it in. So it's y minus, I'm going to substitute in the y1 here. 3, and that equals my slope, which I'll say is minus 4 fifths, my slope here. x minus, and then I have, again, I have my x1, which here, here I'm going to make my x1 over here this x value of 2, and I'll plug it here at x equal to 2. So now, I have an equation, and I have a fraction in it. One of the things that I've learned in the past, to get rid of my fraction, I'm going to multiply everything by my denominator of 5. I'm going to multiply it by 5, both sides. When I do that, and this process is the same thing all the time, I can distribute. And so I end up with 5y minus 15. When I multiply the 5 times 4 fifths, the 5s cancel. And so it's just negative 4x minus 2. And this is 5y minus 15. Distribute the negative 4, so negative 4x plus 8. And now I need to have it equal y equals mx plus b. I need to solve for m now. 
So to do that, I'm going to add 15. So add the 15. So 5y equals negative 4x plus 23. Divide by 5, y will be negative 4 fifths x plus 23 fifths. And that is my final equation. It asks for it in slope intercept form, slope intercept. Here's the slope, rise negative 4, run a 5, and y intercept is 23 fifths. Let's try the next equation problem. A line has a slope of 5 halves, and it goes through this point. Find the equation in standard form. Standard form is a situation which looks like ax plus by is equal to c, where I know that a, b, and c must be integers. Okay, there's my fancy z. So again, I need my slope, which is 5 halves, and I need a point, x1, y1, which is 3, negative 1. Using my y minus y1 equals m x minus x1, plug it in values. I know y, my y1, my y1 is here. This is y1, I'll put it there. Minus, and be careful here, a negative 1, double negative, equals, well, here is my slope, 5 halves, my slope, and x minus, and then I have my x value, which I'll put here, my x1 value, and that is 3. Just like the last question, I'm going to multiply through both sides by my common denominator, which would be 2. Same as last time. It's the same process. When I multiply everything by 2, and there's a 2 on this side, and distribute it, I get 2y, that's 2 negative negative plus, plus 1 times 2 is 2. Those 2's cancel, so it's 5x minus 3. Remember, I'm trying to get it to look like this form here. So, 2y plus 2 equals 5x minus 15. Bring everything over to the other side, or actually, I'm going to make it a positive x just because it looks nicer that way. So, I'll bring 5x minus 2y equals, bring this over, 17. And so if I rewrite that, I get 5x minus 2y equals 17. And this is in standard form. Standard form. Again, multiply through by my fraction, gets rid of the fraction, and then it's easier algebra. I like this equation. It makes things much easier once you get used to it.